Hello and welcome to part 1. So, in this part, we're installing PuTTY and reinstalling or installing the Wii, or not Wii, so with DB Online and 64 or 32 bit. In my case, it will be 64 bit. So, how do you install PuTTY? First, go into the link of the description. Then scroll down to this section here. Then download the putty.exe or the installer. After you've downloaded it, just install it. So we go we can go now to my desktop and search for putty. And well I didn't install it, so let's just install it. So I save the file. It's I download the installer. So just open it up, click at the running on yes, and just install it like a normal program. I'm going to create a desktop icon. Next, install. Now I do not want to view the README because it's not necessary. So, well, the first thing we have now to do is to go into our start menu, search for putty, and I drag it onto my taskbar. Well, then I run it, and here you can drag in your server IP or your server address. Mac is winfreakonline.de. And under saved sessions, you can save a session so that you do not have to enter an IP every time. So, well, I saved it under my server. Server. I like to con save. As you can see, um, if the security alert, co alert comes up, just click on yes. And now we have a black box. It's just a Linux console. So we do not have any graphical user interface here. You just have to type in things. So we want to log in as root in my case, and then we have our password in. Um, but, well, so, you see, PuTTY is working. Um, let's now reinstall the Wii server. So, from a provider, you get a uh, address of where you can do this. In my case, it's Wii server control .de. Well, got to log in now. Now I'm I'm in my Wii server control panel. It looks it can look different at other um, service providers. Um, so you do have to figure out how to do this. If you can't figure it out, just mail support. So I select my Wii server. Click on Control, and then I click on Reinstall. So here we have the list with all and you know and select if you can Debian Lenny 64 bit. If not you have to select Debian Lenny 32 bit or only Debian Lenny if this is a point. So just select the point where Debian Lenny 64 bit is or Debian Lenny or Debian Lenny 32 bit. So in my case I select Debian Lenny 64 bit. And now I have to learn I have to enter my current login password and it stops the Wii server. So well, let's wait a bit. So now it's installing the server and see you later. So it reinstalled the server and now it stores the server. So let's just wait. I have a method to figure out if it's online. Okay, now it's online. It sends me the root password and um, one thing to explain. Root is the administrator in Linux. So I go in my saved thing, click on yes, and we log in as root with the password they gave us. So now, enter just pass wd make space and then type in root and now um, we can enter a new unix password 
So just a new password, and remember, you can't see the letters you type in. And just uh, hit enter if you finish with the password, and tap it again, and hit enter again. So, let's now do the first step of the, um, of the installation from this CP. No, not this CP. ISP CP. So, what we do now is updating the sources list from our server. So the sources list is in Debian uh, the sources where the server gets its package. So first we echo nothing into the um, into the um, sources list. So just say echo then to um, to um, Abstraths, I don't know how to call it, and then um, make the uh, yeah make this sign I do I did here and and say slash etc slash apt slash s o u and then hit the tab key and you got sources list. Now type enter and now it's empty. So just type in now nano etc apt and again this s o u s o u oh come on tab here we go so uh, my comment was wrong you have to set the sign in the other point pointing way look here and if we go now in, it's empty. So just look at the sources list that I posted in the description, posted in here. So now I copied it, and then you have to press the right mouse button, and then it pasted it in. So now hit Control C. Yeah, and no control X you have to hit. And then you hit you hit the Y button and the enter button. And let's now update the server by going on to A APT. You'd have to type in negative get space uh update then you make two end signs and then you say apt negative get dist negative upgrade and hit enter and we hit yes now it's updating so what we're going to do now is restart the server by typing in reboot. Uh, by my case, it's just a very special case, it, this does not work. I have to go in my control panel in the browser. I have to go then into control and to restore. So I'm going to do this now. If all works, putty gives you an error that it's shut down. Click on OK. And well, if you're wondering when you're hitting your side, there's nothing because well I, um we did not install a program that responds to a browser if you go and do it so um then we start putty go into my server then we log in as rude with the password we typed in so then we clear it up and now uh what we gonna do is the following okay just two minutes left um so we can install just a few packages that are needed for the program ispcp um i have the comment in the description just copy it as you normally do and then go to put it and right click and just press enter press Y for yes and it's installing the package 
So it's setting up now everything and I type in log out. And the only thing I want to say to you is thanks for watching. So see you in the part two.